this is Stuart and this is Rudy from ProCivic.com and today we're going to do a really cool install. Uh, you may have seen these emblems before being unboxed by us, uh, but now we're actually going to put them on a brand new 2014 Civic Si sedan. So uh, stick around and you're going to see exactly how to do it. It's really straightforward and something you can do with just a couple tools. Alright, so the first step is to remove this covering right here uh, that actually will allow us to get to the grill area. Um, basically, these emblems are held on with screws from the factory, so you don't want to just rip it off. Um, if you were to do that, you could try doing that yourself, we don't recommend it. Um, you might be able to get the emblem off and skip all these steps here, um, but you'll probably break the emblem in the process and you may scratch this emblem holder uh, here as well. So we already have the hood popped. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to start taking off these little uh, pop rivets here. And then there's two uh, little bolts held on uh, that you need an Allen wrench to, to get to. Uh, it's really straightforward, like I said before. Um, and again, we're just going to start removing these little uh, plastic pop rivets that Honda has. These are actually kind of a new style. Um, they used to be a little easier to remove. And um, you just have to uh, get in here. And since this is brand new, usually get it from each side like that and it comes out like that. Just continuing to remove all the uh, bolts and clips required to take this cover off. Last one, one more Allen wrench one. All right, so uh, we have all the, uh, the little pop rivets and the bolts off. Um, these two items don't need to come off, they stay on there. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take this cover off right now. Let's see what's underneath. Got angles up there. Yeah. And we just lift this bottle, pull it off. So there's your piece right there. We'll just set that aside. Okay, so we have the uh, top cover off that prevented us from getting access to the grill area, the back of the grill. There are four uh, little pop rivets, they're upside down, that hold this grill in to the uh, little uh, chrome piece right underneath it. So there's actually one right here that's sort of hidden, and then you have the two uh, visible ones right here, and then there's another hidden one. So there's four total, and um, you're kind of just going to push these out. You're going to push down on them. You don't want to do it with your finger because it's... Uh, probably hurt yourself, it's just that they're a little too sharp to put a lot of pressure on there. But uh, basically you're gonna use like a, a, a screwdriver and kind of push down or any, anything that you can uh, have laying around that you can push down on the very top of them to get them to pop out. Um, so that's what we're gonna do right now. And uh, I'll go ahead and start that. I'm gonna use this tool again, see if this works well. Okay, so that was one of them. Just have to pull up there a little bit to get this enough clearance to get it all out. There's one. We have these other ones over here. These these ones, uh, just if you can, maybe uh, if you know you can hold your hand underneath just to make sure this last rivet. Uh, it's unlikely it'll just pop all the way out, but um, just in case it did, it would fall down here, and you could probably reach your hand in and, and get it. It probably won't be a big deal. Or you could have a friend if you have someone else with you just kind of holds their hand underneath their little cup just to you know prevent the rivet from falling down in there so this this one's a little tougher because you got to get the angle right so for these uh, side ones basically it's a little bit more difficult to get them um, what I found best was using a screwdriver actually um, you could press down on it uh, it probably will pop out to where you might have to dig down a little bit further once it pops off but again, this is completely optional. We're just doing this mainly to show you guys how we're gonna get to the emblem back here. But let me just go ahead and give this a shot. Again, I'm just gonna press in on the top portion of the same kind of tabs we had on top. And try to take this off. And these do take a little bit of pressure. And the 
Yeah, still not going to sell. Let's see what we can do here. So again, I used my finger there. As noted previously, it's a little bit uncomfortable to get into that point, but it's definitely doable. And got the clip. So there you go. It's a little bit difficult, but it's definitely, if you wanna do this as precise as possible and Gonna have ease of access back here. That's one way to do it. Okay, uh, now we have the, uh, the clips uh, holding the back of the grill completely off. So it's pretty straightforward just to go ahead and uh, remove this. It comes right off. Um, use a little bit of force in some areas, but as you can see, it's really easy to come off. Nothing else holding it on. And uh, here's the, the back of it, which we'll show you more in just a second when we lay it down on the table to actually take the emblem off. So now we're gonna be showing you how to break off the little tabs on the emblem. There's lots of ways of doing this. Um, you might, if you can see closely here, um, probably not the best view, but there's two tabs here. Um, they're held in by these kind of push lock fittings. They basically, are a friction fit so you can get a pick and like try to wiggle these out but another way of doing it is simply breaking off these tabs it's going to ruin the, the original emblem but that's fine in this case we're going to be replacing it with the jdm one so let's go ahead in there and try to break these off here Make sure that these clips are grabbing. Actually, if you're able to just, when you break it off, if it breaks off to the base of where it's, these clips are engaged, you could just push the emblem off and it'll pop right off. So that basically completes that. So now, okay. the grill without the emblem, and it's pretty much ready to have the JDM badge installed. Okay, so now we have the factory emblem off of the backing. Um, the next step is to go ahead and just clean the surface. As you can see, it's just a little, even though this is a new car, it's a little bit uh, dirty, and um, that'll prevent the adhesive from fully sticking if you leave it like that. So we usually recommend just use some uh, rubbing alcohol. Just buy it from the store, it's really cheap. You just can use a you know, rag, microfiber, paper, paper towel, and just put a little bit on there. Rub this off, get it nice and clean. Again, here's the uh, emblem, and we this is a genuine emblem made by Honda. It's a Japanese part, it's from Japan. Uh, it's, you know, a lot of places sell the knockoff ones. We've made a point that we only sell the genuine ones. They're higher quality and they last longer. Um, one thing to remember is that these tabs on the JDM Honda emblem will not match up exactly with the factory ones. Um, that's fine. That's uh, the way it's supposed to be. There was, there is no Type R um, model for the 2012 and newer Civics. So this is the emblem that provides the best fitment on this vehicle. It's actually a perfect fitment. Um, but you do have to take off these factory tabs from the Japanese emblem. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, just you can use pliers like we did for the factory emblem or you can use a sharp blade, just be a little bit careful with that one. And when you do, if you do use the knife method, uh, just make sure to cut it real low. You wanna get it uh, as low of a cut as possible on these tabs, so it's not blocking the adhesive from making contact. Um, pliers, similar thing. You wanna get as low as possible, break off the tab at the base. So there's one tab off, and that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good job there. There's a little bit uh, sticking out that I may kind of clean off with the knife, kind of just uh, to make sure it makes the best contact possible. Um, we'll do that with the other one, and then clean it up a little bit, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, um, 
We got the back of the JDM emblem all cleaned up. You can see they're pretty, uh, the cut is pretty low down there, so it's definitely not going to uh, make contact with the emblem backing. Um, so the next step, this is already cleaned off. I'm going to just remove this adhesive and the adhesive cover, and then um, just going to go ahead and um, there's going to be a little bit of space around the emblem, uh, just where this, you can see this kind of uh, matte colored uh, emblem backing meets the uh, painted surround. And you just want to make it, you know, fit in the center, left to right and, and up, up and down. Uh, so you get it the best look possible here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my time and make sure it looks good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, basically already stuck on there, but just go ahead and press it in for maybe a minute or so, just to make sure the adhesive really makes good contact, and it'll, it'll last forever um, through as many car washes as you can do.